It's called moon.exe. I don't know why. Can I not search here for moon.exe? I don't see it. Steam claims it's running. Well, maybe it hasn't. I can't run the frickin' game. Let me just try killing Steam. It is shut down. It is not running. No, don't reboot. Maybe I'm going to have to reboot. Maybe Windows is forcing me. Let's, let's close all these things that we don't like. Oh, you play. Get rid of you play. Exit now. You got a spinny cursor. OK. Steam. Updating Steam. Connecting to my account. Library. I just may not be able to play this. It just doesn't update it because it thinks it's running, but there is no moon.exe. Right? Like, it's not here. Why does Visual Studio run node.js now? That's so stupid. Let's close that. Doesn't have anything to do with it. There's, oh, there it is. How did I not see that before? Maybe it wasn't there. Okay, it's ready to play. So apparently the game doesn't exit cleanly. But I don't know why I couldn't, I looked for it like several times in the process table. I don't know why I didn't see it. All right, so we have to go tell the person in the lab about the carvings that we saw that look like just like all the 50 million other carvings that we saw, except that these particular carvings have a script trigger attached. What sight stone? Should I have picked up the sight stone? I don't know what that is. I definitely need some way to see in the dark. This is where I came in.
Wait, what? Am I just going back and forth? Okay. Coolant processing. How was my experience for Factorio? I played it for a while. It's an interesting game. Some parts of it are really flat. Like the... There's no real combat or exploration to speak of. Um, where the hell? Um, so, you know, I felt like I had put in enough hours. What? How am I going... This game is making me sad. This is going the wrong way. No, okay. You're in a maze of twisty moon labs all alike. I guess I go this way. Right. Okay. No! This is just back here! How do I get out? How do I get out of this lab? don't want to be in Moon Lab anymore. Thank you. Now I have to search for every NPC. Wait, did I not do this? I thought I did this one. Didn't do this one. Okay. Well, whoops, that was not right. I was envisioning that replacing the other one, and I was like, oh, it's a match three, but it's not a match three. So I could, wait, would that be a match three on the plus block? I mean, maybe I don't care if I leave an eye block. Oh, but the thing is, Maybe that's the... I only have three choices. Square block left, square block right, or I block right. Square block right destroys too much stuff. Square block left probably... Maybe this is the right thing. just going to drop it down. That's not helping me at all. 
Oh, I've got to push it. I've got to push it from the right. And this won't work now. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Crispy's insulting. Where is the person for me to talk to? Yeah, I read that before. Where is Darnell Hayes? Access tunnels. Wait, was I already down here? I think I was already down here. This is familiar. Do I like the game now? Um, I don't know yet. I am... <clears throat> I'm still pretty frustrated with it. Uh, once you get used to the controls, then it's maybe less of a problem. But it's just not, not nice as a new player. Oh, I screwed up, kind of. Let's 
not going to do it. one block is enough. Let's presume it is. I can't really switch the order of nothing. Just messing around. Okay, I can't get out. I mean, I guess I went in here already, right? Yeah, I did this one. No! Let's go turn on this lamp just so we can turn on all the lamps. Oh, this one doesn't turn on. Jumping is frustrating in this game, as always. I don't really want to be back in Moon Lab. Oh god, yeah, I really don't want to be back in Moon Lab. Fuck Moon Lab. I hate that place. to go down because I will drown. Cognition.
okay? I exited through the crash the game door. Uh, Fez didn't really physically reset your PC during the intro sequence. What sight stone? Was that the thing on the moon that makes me kill myself when I press down? That definitely wasn't a good idea to pick that up. Okay, I can't see the whole puzzle at once from up there. All right. So, we have to clear everything, which means we need some match threes. We need match threes on dot and plus, and a mere match two on the I block. push it left from there no matter what. And if that one drops down, I can't push it right. Oh no, never mind. There's tractor beams. I forget if the tractor beam stopped there or there. I assume it's one to the left. Well, let's see. Oh, I can't. All right. Where does the tractor beam put the block? There's no real way 
to cross one square block over the other. without making a problem. Okay, well, let's just, the easy case is the plus blocks. So if we were to push all this left, not quite go in the tractor beam, come up here, get this plus block. Um, Like ideally, you would have one somewhere where you just get up here and you kick it to the right, and then there's a plus block here, and one here. Or, actually, there's a gap here, because that's not going to happen, because you can't push one to the right from this wall. So it would have to be this lands all the way down here. And there's one here and one there. Which uh, doesn't seem particularly impossible. Let's just do that. I don't think that's the right thing to do. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it makes the other one easier. So I want to get this plus block Oh, I mean the thing is Ugh I'm trapping myself Maybe a mistake, but we're gonna do it anyway. Maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's just the right simplification. Okay. So we basically just want to do the same thing. Oh. Yeah, I mean I guess this is easy actually. Especially if you eat your rice krispies like I do. You don't even need to use both sides. I feel like this puzzle is broken. I feel like it's not supposed to be that easy. Crispies. Well, I would just game didn't put me through a lengthy title sequence that I can't skip every time it starts. Because if you're gonna crash all the time, I'm not amused. Okay, did I actually... Shut up, let me play. So do I have this one? Uh, yes. Is 
a Mario Powell block. Just for future reference, this isn't how the physics of water works. Well, maybe that's because the builders of these halls knew something you can't see. Well, I only have two possible moves here. I can kick the bottom row. I can kick this top block. If I kick the top block first and then the bottom row, then only one rice patty block flies off the thing. I guess the third move is to go between the eye blocks and get rid of an eye block. But none of those are good moves. This is... Okay, this is pretty good. The problem then is I can't match three. I mean, I don't know if I need to match three of these, or if the only point is to open up space for me to go in. Like, I don't know where I want to try to jump from to get here. I feel like that's not it. Whoops. That's definitely not it. Oh my god. Like, if the jumping in this game were not so annoying... ...then I would know what I'm trying to do. Is that what I did last time?
Like, I don't know if I can actually make that jump or if it's like if that's the right answer and I can make the jump or if it like good game design is really subtle like it requires you to pay attention to what your game's doing blocks there just to give me something to do to let me collect rice krispies or just decoration do I push them somewhere to do something cool like it goes way up. I need the Metroid power where I can swim up there. really having fun with these kinds of puzzles either. So I could just get downstairs already if I want to. What is down there? Some philosophical sayings in the moonlight. 
language that I could translate, but I am not going to right now. Okay. We can't get up top there, but we can push tractor beam blocks. So we could match three of those rice paddy blocks as the first thing, and then the plus blocks. Match two square blocks and then annihilate the third one. Oh, except I can't because. The problem is, once I annihilate these two square blocks, I've got a spare rice paddy block in the way. Oh, but that'll just drop down there. Yeah, like, I don't... Patty block will just drop down anyway. Oh, but this plus block. This plus block won't go on to the ledge and knock the other one. That's the problem. It'll just go over there and drop down, and then I'll be sad. I didn't want it to go there. Oh, but, wait, I can just push it over, like what? Oh, uh, well, until I did that, I could just push it over. Stupid. Stupid. Unless there are some locks upstairs that say that I have to kill all the blocks, which there might be. But I'll find out about those now, I guess. Puzzle feels broken too. It looks like all the other places where I put the red things. Yeah. Right. OK, 
Okay, so I did that. Wait, when I come in here, what is it? What does the block hint say? It's got one thing and it's filled, which I guess means that I'm done. Voice is really low versus game sound. Dude! OBS says they're the same. My game sound is now at minus 40 decibels. Oh, it was you. Okay. Great. All right, now I have to try doing this bullshit puzzle again. And now the problem is I'm coming in from an even worse door. Oh God. Yeah, this part of the game is not fun. I don't know why this is in the game. Okay, so like, where do we think? Okay, actually, it's very trivial for me to stand here and knock this eye block out. So if that was the right place to jump from, then I could just do that. And in fact, if that's, if either this or that is the right place to jump from, I can just do those things. The problem is, I don't actually know. Like, that actually looks too high to me. It's probably too low. Oh, it made it. All right, great. Awesome puzzle, guys. Lower waterworks artifacts. Okay, so this is a different thing. I need to stack up enough blocks that I can get to that thinger, which is probably at least two. The thing is, it's just not easy to stack. Like, you can't push stacked things in this game. So, like, I need to get some blocks on the side that are not going to mutually annihilate. If I get, like... One, two, three, four. Then I can push the fourth left one and it's probably fine. And we start with two. So we're gonna drop one on top of the eye block and push it left. Which means it shouldn't be an eye block. Except, of course, everything I get is an eye block from this side. Um, so, enough. Looks like it. Okay. Like, 
I guess the puzzle is to eliminate all the... See, these nine things are eliminate all the blocks things. But I didn't need to do that. <laughs> so I think the puzzle's just broken again. Puzzle games, it's easy for puzzles to be broken. And, and not have to be solvable the way that you think. So I think that's what happened with both of those. red situation. Does that mean that I have to go that way? I seem to be able to cross it. Wait, what? They like made a crossing. Dude, I don't know. Crossing there. What? Oh, so these are like switches that you step on that do things. Okay, so that would solve it if I had gone a different direction from the beginning and... If the switches... Which is clear all of the railroad blocks. exploration. Now I'm gonna die. Okay, well, maybe those are something I can land on after I clear some blocks. Except that there are one by ones. So I like need to fall on the inner side of that pit. Okay, wait. Is there a recognizable thing here? It's just a pit with some lines going up it. Go 
Good thing I did my recon. I found a pit with some light. I can't get up there yet. Come on, bro. Oh my god, economy of level design, people. Special doorway that goes to the moon or something. I don't want to go to the moon. I hate the moon. Yeah, the thing about these swim mazes, especially, is there's not there's not really skill, right? It's like there's a fixed time limit. There's not a lot of dynamics to the swimming. So it's like, you know about how long you can swim and then you just try to find air and either you do or you don't. You know what I'm saying? There's like not a lot, there's not a lot of juice to that mechanic. Fuck this game. Like the fact that it doesn't even scroll the screen down to show you anything is just beyond infuriating. Alright. So I guess I go over this. Wait, can I drop down this and do some blocks? Yes, okay. So I have to drop down all the right things and do some blocks. I guess that's interesting. I gotta do some blocks. Wait, can I put a thing? Oh, I can't get up there to put the thing until we're done. Okay, what was the pit with some lines? It might have been that. That seems to say there's blocks down there. Just drop, drop, please drop. Thank you. Is this a pit with some lines? I think so. Dude, this camera. Is this, oh, this is where I came from. I didn't realize that was the exit. Okay, at least it didn't totally hose me. All right, so the lines that are really close together, I have to go down that one.
So can I get up this way or do I have to follow the circuit around? No. Oh yes I do. I have to follow the circuit around. circuit around. I think I'm dead. Oh, barely. Barely didn't die. Maybe the, if I deciphered the little moon language, it has what order I need to do these in to make the minimal round trips. Alright, I don't even know where the last two blocks are. those ones. Were there some more off to the right? I don't remember any. one path at the bottom left that I haven't been yet. Alright, let's go investigate that. If I don't die to death first. So those blocks are they're just there as status indicators to let me know when I'm done. They don't they don't help me do anything. I guess it helps me get out if I go to the upper ones, right? Probably. But what it really does is it lets me get to the exit laser situation. Ugh. Get up there.
Still don't know what good those do me. Okay. Did I do that one? I don't think so. Swimming. Swimming. I am right now. Oh. Swimming. Swimming in the swimming maze. Wake up, buddy. More swimming mazes is exactly what I wanted from this game. Swimming mazes with power switch puzzles so that I can flip a switch and swim to the destination. killing me because I opened it from the other side. When is the guy going to give me the password? What dick site? Dude. This game just doesn't stay running. I don't know if I can keep playing it. I'm sure glad I know who makes it, though, every time it crashes. Any chance I'll play any old Zactronic game again on stream? There's a chance of that. The thing is, I do play them a lot, and then I get kind of brain tired, and I start feeling like, you know, if I'm going to think this hard, it should be on my real programming. Don't tell me this administration bullshit again. Just let me play. This game didn't crash this much yesterday. So I wonder if it updated with something that's actually kind of buggy.
Well, it doesn't pop up the Unity options box, or it doesn't say made in Unity, so I assume it's custom, or I, I don't know. Okay, we have blocks, but what am I trying to do with these blocks? Oh, just get them all. Match. Wait, what? There's one of each kind over here. Oh, there's a, right. There's tractor beams. Well, square. First, certainly. And then rice patty. have to do a match three on the pluses. I guess match two of the pluses. So I match the rice patty. I match two of the pluses. Okay, so we need a match three on the dots. That is the problem. If those are absolutely last, and I just straddle them across the hole, then I can just drop the third dot in. So let's just do that. That seems easy. So rice patty. Except, okay. So this plus has to go to the left. Because if I go to the right and annihilate with this plus, then I won't be able to push the eye block that comes next to the left because I'll be standing in a hole. And to close that hole, I'd have to annihilate these. So that goes that way. Right, so then eye block next. Push that left. Yeah. Easy puzzle.
I think I think lighting could be done well in something like this, but this is a little weird. It's like this garage shaded big squares. That's not the right way to do it. Like the lighting has to be pixel arty. Like the way it is like here, I actually don't mind. But that's a different thing from like this. This is totally counter to the aesthetic. So like if you had pumped this through a shader that made it like pixely, and if if you had better tessellations, you didn't have these mock banding artifacts all over the place, it would look better. Oh wait, uh, plus is next and we need to do that. kick off this guy. But yeah, this looks, this, this shadowing here really doesn't look good. Rice Krispies. Yay, I get to go to the moon again. Yay. Are those moon doors supposed to be open, except I missed something about that? Or do those like open later? I don't understand. The fact that there's so many moon doors seems to imply that I should get some utility out of them at this point. Like just in terms of being able to get to other parts of the world. But I just go to the moon and it's always locked. Maybe that becomes important later. Hate the moon. How do I get out of here without the? Oh, do I just have to kill myself? No, I can go up. like a thing up there. How do I do that thing? This probably tells me some stuff. <sighs> if I... Oh, there's a thing there. Oh, that's my exit door. All right. But there's like a thing up there. If I wanted to tediously translate the moon language, I could translate this, but I'm not going to do that. Not going to translate the moon. that other door that needed a key that I didn't do. What is the deal with keys? Maybe I need to solve all the blocks. Oh, now I'm already screwed. Once I move this one, I can't get back up. Oh. 
So I need to open that tunnel. I don't... I'm supposed to eliminate those blocks in the tunnel. I wish I could see where I was jumping. Look, I can go to the moon again. I hate the moon. I hate it. Why? Two keys here somewhere. Oh, is this the beginning? Wait, what? This is the administration building. Can't go up now? 
Oh, because I went from downstairs before. Look, I'm in the town. Hi, doggy. Probably want those on, right? I don't actually know. certificate with the root password. Wait, why don't I go turn the power off to all the servers? He doesn't care. He doesn't care that the power's off to all the servers. I know where the server is. Shut up. Oh, was I supposed to look at that one thing? Yes, this is my place. Played invaders. That's my only mail. Sorry, Windows is trying to get me to update. Good thing this in game computer isn't trying to get me to update. this again. I hate this! 
I hate the moon. I never want to go to the moon again. I hate the moon. do this? Is that the... Krispies. I need to find the keys. Where did I find keys in the early game? Was it from matching all the blocks? What was it from? I don't remember. I got one out of two keys, is that what that means? Oh wait, I can go through that door. One of the doors I haven't been in. over here and try all the doors in the world all the doors in the world Oh, but this is still considered part of the hilltop zone. So the other stuff I ain't done could be here. I kinda, like I don't have anything specific to try and do now. I kinda feel like I'm at a stopping point with this game. That's the Moonstone Equation. I bet I could translate that from the computer. Or something. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, so we already did that. can hear a hum of the generator because there's a generator secret door secret door Mine 
cards. Yeah, I don't really know what where to go or what to do, and there's no map that I know of, and I'm back in boring Minecraft area. It says there's a door I haven't been through. I don't know where it is. Don't really care. shows what's below me is all the more aggravating. There's a thing off to the left here, right? What was that again? Oh, that's a thing that I solved. Anyone have any ideas about what should I do next, or do I call it a night? Do a call it a night and go Minecrafting. Thanks, game. Oh, I did this before. Almost died. stone equation is on the wall there's also doors that I haven't been through but I probably get to them from somewhere else why is there a door on the wall that Nobody in chat is giving me any ideas, so... That may be... this may be it. This may be... The solution to the Moonstone equation may be... Okay, I never did this yet. Alright, so plus block, square blocks. That leaves. Now we have to do rice patty first. Okay, so.
what's below me, however. Okay. Square blocks. Rice patties. Then I'm stuck. Because the eye blocks... If I do the rice patties now... The eye blocks will never touch. But I can put one in the hole. I can put the square on top of it. And then I can get up. Oh no, okay, that works. Never mind. I eat rice krispies. Oh, I'm here. I'm just back here. Administration building. Now Hilltop Astronomy Lab. Alright. Well, that's not nearly as exciting as it could have been. No, now I'm stuck. That's fine though. Who was the person in town that I was supposed to tell about the new language cards? I'm so tired of this building. I hate it. Would you make me come back to a boring office building when I'm learning the crazy new language? Okay, I already went through this, right? pages out of the book. Now it wasn't Darnell. We found Darnell and he doesn't have much to say. Have I played Snakebird? Yes. It is a good game. Yeah, Darnell is kind of just a grumpy jerk. That's weird. So I can put an eye block there. Oh. Oh man, I have to match three of the rice patties. What a pain in the butt. Okay, this will... Oh. I thought that was going to land... I thought that was going to hit that next 
propeller beam and land here where I'm standing. Why didn't it do that? I guess that's not how it works. I guess it only works that way when you stack three blocks up. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty tired. Yeah. But now it's too high for me to go there. But... Okay, I could now match three the two squares on the right while pushing the left square left and the eye block down. Let's try that. Because I think I can eliminate the eye block the next turn. Oh, right. That would have been if... Okay. So, problem is, I need to match three of the rice patty blocks. Okay, I think I think I do this left and then this right. Oh no! Right, I didn't realize okay, I fucked up. I think that was close to good. I don't know. Oh no, wait, if I just, if I rice patty block to the right, and then I block to the left, that'll fill the square, and then I one by one to the left, and that'll come down. Oh, but now I want a rice patty to the right, not to the left. That's... I fail. I fail. I want the rice patty to go to the right, not the left. Oh, I could push... Okay. Actually, this all might be fine. I can kick this from this side. I could like kick them. Oh no! I can't. Okay. Die. Um, we're gonna do what I did the first time. good though because I have versatility with this now I could push it off either side we're gonna want that okay so I block no, square block eliminates top, square block, eye block eliminates top, right, eye block. Then I have a rice patty on top of a square, and nothing else up there. Um, but I can get up there.
And this will be empty. So I think I can get the second rice patty down here. Yeah, I think... Oh no! Oh, it's fine. Actually. Totally fine. I was gonna say, oh, I can't push it to the left. Okay, so normally this would match too either way and I would be dead, but um, I'm totally fine. Right, because we can just do this, and I'm gonna drop that off to the right as long as I can get up there. Oh god. No, I can't drop it that way. Shoot. Why do I keep doing this mistake? Well, if I had done this, Without eliminating two blocks here, then I could have coasted that in. Do it on the other side, it wouldn't matter. Both sides drop blocks in the same place, unless these are full. I couldn't have done it from the left side. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can't push it to the left because it's at the edge of the platform. Just think the waffles need to be solved while they're on the top platform. Well, that, that could be. It seems to be what the puzzle is suggesting. Doesn't mean you have to do it that way, because I've certainly have broken, or I think I've broken some puzzles in this game already, but, um... Okay, if the first thing we do is put a rice patty to the right, and then it goes there, then we just need to drop one there to match three of these guys. Now, unfortunately, we have to push this. That'll fill that square. And then we push this, right? Oh, but then... Okay, wait. So that'll fill out the square. This will put a one block down here. Um, then I have a rice patty. That'll go there. So we'll have rice patty, rice patty, rice patty, eye block. Oh no, because that'll go there. That'll give me a rice patty down here, uh, which I could eventually push to the right. I'm going to try that. That seems plausible. So I get a rice patty here, 
and then I push it to the right and it goes up and it pushes the other one and we get a match three. Oh god, except... I have to clear out all this. I thought I was gonna push it. I thought, I was, I thought in my mind it was gonna slide it over and we were gonna have three, but it disintegrates as soon as it touches it. Which is a bummer. It's not what I wanted. So if I do rice patty now, it'll come down here. <clears throat> if I do square block, it'll come down here. It'll be kind of be making a stack, but I can kick them out of the stack. And then if I do I block, it'll annihilate with the I block. That's what really makes the problem for me. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Because the reason the eye block annihilating is a problem is because then this square block, the last one will fill this. Whereas I want to drop this guy there. And I, I won't be able to. But. I drop this guy on this guy. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I hope you do. Alright, so. Um. So now we kick the eye block down. That annihilates that. And then we do these. Oh, well that's fine, actually. I was like, oh, I screwed up, but it's fine. So we do that, and then we do that. How do you like them apples? And then we do this. How is that for a match three? Rice Krispies. Give me my Rice Krispies. And as a bonus, I don't even have to go to the moon. I don't even have to go to the moon because the moon sucks and I hate it. Though I'm sure when we colonize Mars, that'll be way better than the moon. Okay, where have I even been down here? I don't... Is this that one place? Yeah. I... Don't know. I'm going back out. 
More sewers. Because sewers are a highly original video game location. Oh man. I thought I saw one of those door flashes, but it's like just a particle over there. Why are there Rice Krispies over there? Are those from something I saw before? What's going on? Am I supposed to work my way through an invisible maze of twisty passages? Like. I don't know, people. Everybody is asleep and they will never wake up again because this is a psychological horror game. <coughs> this is the door that I came in at the start of the game. You're watching this or playing some game on your own. It's true. This game is tiring to play, though. It would be much more relaxing to watch someone play the puzzles, and then I wouldn't have to figure anything out. I don't want to go to the moon. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm, I'm kind of done for now, I think. Passive entertainment. Tomorrow I can go back to trying to watch the Dota games and try to figure out which blob of particles is which hero. That'll be exciting. I don't know where to go. I seriously don't. Like, I guess one of these ways goes to the town and then back through Moon Lab, which I hate the town and I hate Moon Lab. So there's that. Like, I guess I can try to get to the town again because if I remember how to go there, because there was like, oh, tell someone about the carving. And there was someone in town who was like, oh, tell me if you ever see anything interesting. The thing is, I don't know how to get there. I totally don't remember. It's not this way. It's like some random door out of all these random doors goes to town somehow. I simply don't remember. Don't get there by going to the moon, though. I'll tell you that. Do I go to the dog room to go to town? No. Do I go to the non-dog room to go to town? No. Do I go to the other non-dog room to go to town? other other non-dog room to go to town. No! 
dude. This is the dark souls of not being able to find what door to go through. That's just gonna... I want to go this way. I hate this place. I hate this place also. No! Get out now. Ha ha. Oh, maybe I can by doing this. Well, I do not understand the point of that. I couldn't tell if I went into a little secret passage there or not. Sure seems like one. Just because there's that well lit area off on the right. Except I'm drowning. gotten in there to open that. This doesn't go anywhere though. We already know this. I don't think. Oh no, that just goes to there. Okay, there's the glowy things off to the left. What? Am I supposed to search for a secret in the dark passageway that goes left? Or like, what am I doing here? Because I don't ideas but like there's no there's no secret passageway are those just regular rice krispies that are caught in the wall due to a bug i think that's most likely Go stand by going backwards through all the rooms. Even though it sure took a long way to go there, and I don't. Wait, did 
I go in there? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Like, why don't they just have a different bitmap for doors that you've been through versus doors that you have not been through? That would be welcome by me if they were to do that, I tell you what. was trying to make a puzzle. I can't get up here. I've got to... Oh, I can go there. patty block to the right which frankly does not seem easy or I can match one of these other blocks yeah like I could just no I need a rice patty block to get to the right no matter what okay Square. Problem is, then I kick the square out, and then this dies no matter what. No matter what. to get this block over there. This is not how this game works. You can't ever transport a block horizontally. And without kicking it along a surface. Ah. Like a block can't ride horizontally on another block. like no way that I can get this rice patty block across the other one without them intercepting. Scoot the whole thing across. I 
guess I actually just start right here, right? So I go kick. I just kick it to the right. And then I just kick this to the right. Red sewers. Red sewers. All right. So just use it on this door? There's other locked doors that I need to open, bro. Uh, 
I don't know. Fours. And two blanks, which we're going to need to use. So we need to use a blank to kick that four to the left so it doesn't get owned. And then we need to use the other blank.
I do this? What if I just kick that? Oops. Ah, uh, hurry. I needed, I thought it was one over. Like, I just wanted to drop this other four between these two. Now it's not possible. And now I can't get back up there to do things. Okay. Uh, but we know how that works now. Four to my upper left. We eliminate the other one block just as we did. Actually, So, if we're going to drop in a 4 here, it needs to complete a situation of guys who weren't already touching. Which it can't really do here. Because there aren't enough people to be adjacent to. It could do that here. If there was something under it, like a 4, if there was a 4 here and a 4 here, then we could drop in. Or if there was a four here and a four here. Or if there was a four on each side, which is, can't really happen because we can't lift blocks. I mean, we could get that one, but then this one is too low. So, You know what? I think it's my bedtime. I think we take a break on this puzzle and we take a look at it when we are awake. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Maybe we'll do a program stream in the morning. Or something like that. Yeah, I feel bad because I kind of, the beginning of my first stream on this game was me just being mad at the game the whole time. Um, it is pretty interesting. Like, you know, it's got an interesting aesthetic. Like, clearly it's super influenced by Fez. But it's also kind of doing its own thing, which is good. It's not just copying Fez. Um, it just... It needs a little more design juice. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's not, you know, it's, it's all right. Like, especially if 
I don't know if the dude programmed it all himself. I assume so. So that's pretty reasonable. We'll see. Whether I tweet about it or not, I guess sort of depends on how my next session with the game goes. All right. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. See you later.